Hey you guys, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to be talking about my um, SIBO and Candida story. So I'm going to link the videos, the, my previous videos below. And today I'm going to be talking about my week and two, week two and three and maybe four of how I'm fighting this off. So I told you about the supplements before, so I want to tell you about how I'm feeling. So the week two, I definitely had no bloating, no gas, right? And my toilet um, habits were improved or went back to normal. So I didn't have any problems. So I was um, emptying my bowels on a daily basis, which is great because the constipation is the worst thing I've ever experienced in my, in my life. <laughs> um, but I just want to tell you that the supplements that I showed you before, um, I'm, I was definitely, and I'm still taking them uh, now. My headaches disappeared, so I didn't have no headaches, I didn't have no bloating, so week two I was feeling great, and I definitely thought these two were working. So this is the antifungal um, tablet Dida, which is great, and I feel like it's very powerful, and this is something that the, my herbalist prepared for me. I don't know exactly what is in there, but when I went to get a second, because this lasts me like for two weeks, taking it um, twice a day. And I don't know exactly what's in there, but when I went second time, I said to him, you know what, obviously I thought it's only SIBO, but I've got Candida. So he says it's antifungal and antimicrobial mix, which is great. So I said, whatever is in there, it's definitely working. I know there's something for liver de detox as well. So those two. Now I was still taking berberine and this i feel like it's very very powerful so all three of these kill like damage destroy sorry destroy the biofilm and kill off the microbes and the yeast now this is a very powerful mix and with any like sort of detox or anti-candida antimicrobial program um you want to do it slowly because I've noticed that when I started taking all three and all the other things that I'm taking, I'm going to show you in a minute. I started literally, so week two, I was feeling fine, but week three, I started getting really bad headaches and I started feeling, um, that's another thing. So week three, I started having a terrible gas that was really smelly. It was, it was terrible. And I was like, oh my God. And I was thinking like, you know what? I'm trying to sort of, um, like, like I'm not eating sugar or anything. And I think this is a um, thing good to mention. And then I was reading that actually when it dies off, uh, it can cause loads of like smelly gas as well. Now week four, this is, this is all gone. But anyway, so I was continuing these supplements, uh, all the other supplements that I showed you in the video before. I'm still taking Mimosa Pudica because this is great um, anti-inflammatory supplements uh, supplement and it's gut clearing supplement too. Uh, now, one thing that I really want to mention is that in the morning I take um, L-glutamine, which is, um, this is just an unflavored powder that I mix uh, in the water and I drink it on empty stomach. So this is great for healing your gut. Now, what else? Um, I started taking apple cider vinegar uh, in the water. So I'm histamine intolerant, or I've been for the last few years, and I react to all vinegars. Uh, so I stopped drinking apple cider vinegar a few years ago, which I was devastated about because I know that apple cider vinegar is so beneficial to health, but unfortunately not beneficial to everyone, especially the people who are histamine intolerant. Um, but I've read somewhere that some people can tolerate maybe apple cider vinegar, not other vinegars. So I decided to go slowly. So I'm mixing one tablespoon in water and I drink literally four sips. It's great for... Uh, for your stomach, for it, literally, it has got so many health benefits. I think I've made a video before about apple cider vinegar, so I'm going to link it down below. So I'm drinking four sips of that, and I, in the morning, I have bulletproof coffee, which has, oh, and apple cider vinegar is great for killing off the yeast or microbes, right? Uh, eliminating toxins as well. Now, I'm taking the MCT oil or coconut oil in my coffee in the morning, which coconut oil, MCT oil, which is coconut oil pretty much, uh, is great for, it's, it has antifungal, antimicrobial properties. 
So I started doing that and it has actually a really good properties. If you are as well, let's say constipated, like coconut oil can move things for you. And so does actually apple cider vinegar. So whatever I'm doing, you know, it was working. I stopped having constipation in week two. So I had no gas, no bloating, which was great. Uh, I had a little bit of bloating in week three. Now it's gone. Now um, I haven't got it anymore. So it's week four. I'm taking also magnesium citrate, which is meant to help um, as well. But I'm taking magnesium because of my headaches um, mainly. Uh, and just, you know, stress levels and stuff. Uh, I also added the bentonite clay that you can drink and this is you know the green powder that you mix in the water and you leave it overnight and then in the morning you drink it but i made a mistake and i drank it actually once the first time i drank it and i've never had it before so once i drank it the night before i went to work and in the morning i was feeling terrible i was like literally had the worst fatigue ever i felt like i had such a brain fog so I think like this was working and then second time I think I drank it the morning I went to work and I started feeling exactly the same so I was like okay let me leave this for the days that I'm not working which is going to be easier for me to be I don't know at home and sort of manage the, the, the symptoms right uh, so I'm taking this and this is great so bentonite clay won't kill candida but it will help to eliminate the toxify so whatever is uh, you kill off with all the other supplements in your body this will help to get it out of the body like detoxify right it's great for detoxifying from heavy metals as well i'm still taking vitamin c uh, as an l-ascorbic acid so i put like a large teaspoon into the water so i have i try to take at least once uh, but when i was constipated i literally and please guys do not like this is my experience so you always have to um, ask the doctor first or a specialist so i'm not here to advise you what to do i'm just telling you what to do so i was taking a teaspoon in water every 20 minutes and within two hours i think you should it should make you run to the toilet but be careful because i got really bloated at some point and i wasn't feeling well so you have to sort of you know i had to sort of adjust it to my needs but it's good for if you're suffering from constipation uh, and so yeah so this is what i'm doing and one thing that i want to tell you about as well is that from the beginning of this sort of protocol that i'm trying to follow uh, i eliminated the probiotics so i'm not taking any probiotics because what i want to do first first stage is to kill off the bad bact bacteria and the yeast and then get rid of it and then like you know once we start like you know once we clear this it's like it's like with your garden you take the weeds out first before planting anything else right uh, so think of your gut as your garden so you eliminate the weeds first and then we can sort of replenish we can like plant something nice so i think I'm on week four now, so maybe after this week, I am just going to sort of reintroduce probiotics again and I'll see because quite often it's with SIBO, it's like that even the good bacteria, if there's overgrowth of them in the small intestine, it's just not good. It causes bloating, fermentation and everything else. Now, when it comes to the diet, this is what I wanted to tell, talk to you about. So week two, week three, I was on sort of normal-ish diet. I'm not eating sugar or anything like this. So I've eliminated sugar from the very beginning and I hardly, like even before, I hardly ever eat. But I've noticed that I did get loads of gas and bloating with carbohydrates, which has never happened to me before in my life. I've never reacted to it. That's why I'm thinking it is SIBO. So this week, uh, or since last week, sorry, I've eliminated um, the carbs. I'm eating a low carb diet. I'm not saying it's completely carb free, but I'm eating very low carb diet and I'll probably eat it for like a week or two and I'll see if it's going to, it definitely helps because it keeps my belly like flat. I don't get no gas or anything like this. I don't get no bloating, which is great. Uh, so I guess it's working. Uh, anyway guys this is it for today i'm definitely going to give you an update uh what's happening uh, it's uh, in the next few weeks uh thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you found it useful leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye